I'm just here to make sure nothing goes wrong with you or her. Hey, I hear you're that stray from the vault. Oh, I haven't seen one of you for years. Good to meet you. I'm Moira Brown. I run Craterside Supply. But what I really do is mostly tinkering and research. Say, I'm working on a book about the wasteland. It'd be great to have the foreword by a vault dweller. Help me out, would you? Great! Just tell me what it's like to live underground all your life, or, or to come outside for the first time, or whatever strikes your fancy. A runaway dad, huh? I've seen plenty of them before, but none with the big 101 on their back. Good luck finding him. Maybe the armored vault suit will help you out there, huh? That'll be good for the book. In fact, want to help me with the research? I can pay you, and it'll be fun. Well, it's a dangerous place out there in the wastes, right? People could really use a compilation of good advice, like a wasteland survival guide. For that, I need an assistant to test my theories. I wouldn't want anyone to get hurt because of a mistake. Nobody's ever happy when that happens. No, then they just yell a lot at me with mean, mean words. Good enthusiasm! Now, I think the first chapter will have to be about surviving day-to-day -day dangers. Things like where it is and isn't safe to find food, the dangers of radiation, and how to avoid and even profit from dangerous landmines. Ooh, sounds like fun, doesn't it? Which do you want to do first? Well, that's what I need your help for, isn't it? I know lots about it from books, but I never seem to get a live example. Not for long, anyway. So I need you to get a bit of radiation poisoning so I can study its effects. Oh, not a deadly dose, of course. I can fix you up before that. Oh, you're a peach. Or at least some sort of hardy fruit that grows in the savagely irradiated mockery of agriculture we have nowadays. Now, 200 rads should be enough for basic sickness, but if you can get 600 or more rads, my test will be even more accurate. Just make sure you can get back here, and I'll see to it that you're well taken care of. Oh, I couldn't do that. It'd be a real blow to those nice folks in the church. Besides, it's not like that bomb ever hurt anyone. Live and let live, right? Come back soon. I shall be blind with his glory. Every ear shall be stricken deaf. To hear the thunder of his voice. Let the men, women, and children of the earth come forth to gather and behold the power of Atom. Let those who dwell here in his favored land attend now to the words of the prophet of Atom. Come forth and drink the waters of the glow, for this ancient weapon of war is our salvation. It is the very symbol of Atom's glory. Let it serve as a... ...reminder of the division that has occurred in the past, and the resplendence of the promise of our division in the times to come. 
give your bodies to Atom, my friend. Release yourself to his power, feel his glow, and be divided. There shall be no tears, no sorrows, no suffering. For in the division, we shall see our release from the pain and hardships of this world. Yea, your suffering shall exist no longer. It shall be washed away. Hey, an atom's glow, burned from you in the fire of his brilliance. Each of us shall give birth to a billion stars formed from the mass of our wretched and filthy bodies. Each of us shall be mother and father to a trillion civilizations. Each of us shall know peace, shall know an end to pain, and shall know Atom in his glory. I urge you, my friends. Oh, feeling a bit under the weather, or a bit over the Geiger counter? <laughs> I can tell! You're positively glowing! Now, just hold on and try not to move. Tell me how it feels, and I'll get you fixed right up. Oh, you poor dear. Putting on a brave face like that. Well, don't worry. It'll all be better. And it's for a good cause. Now, let me take a few notes, and I'll handle that nasty radiation with a bit of my own homemade Radcure concoction. I've never had a chance to test it out on someone so heavily dosed. Oh, but, but I'm sure it'll work out fine. Exciting, isn't it? Okay, a little Brahmin milk, a couple magnets, and maybe a few happy thoughts. Well, you're alive! Oh, that's the good news. But there was a little side effect. A teeny tiny, um, mutation. Uh, but it seems to be benign, at least. Here, take a few radiation chems, as my little way of saying, I'm sorry I twisted your DNA like a kitten with a ball of yarn. I've got to see how safe it is to scavenge food from one of those huge stores out there. I need someone to research how to travel through a minefield. And that'll cover the first section of the book, which strikes your fancy. Well, food and medicine. Everyone needs them once in a while, right? So they need a good place to find them. There's an old Super Duper Mart not far from here. I need to know if a place like that still has any food or medicine left in it. Oh, great! Food is most important, but see if you can get medicine, too. And if there's nothing to find, then just come back in one piece, okay? Good luck with that research! Good to see you. I must be getting slow in my old age. Thanks for saving my hide there. Don't blow us up now. Please help me.
referring, of course, to our great national pastime, baseball. Or so it had been. We were devastated by atomic war. Each state had its own national baseball. Imagine. Perfect, cloudless day. The sun is warm and welcoming. And on the horizon, they appear like knights of yore, armed with bats of ash and hickory. Their name, the Capitol Congressman.
Who's out there? Good to see you. I really hope you're not thinking of breaking into there. Hey, baby, what do you need? Hey, Pearl, what do you need? Anything for you, friend. See you soon, drunkie. See you Listen, I'm working right now, so make it quick, okay? Well, for you, a room and some company will run you 120 caps, up front. Okay, then. Take care of yourself, hon. Your bodies to atom. My friend, release yourself to his power, feel his glow, and be divine. Their 
shall be no tears. I'll be damned. You did it, didn't you? You disarmed that thing. Here's your reward. Hell, why don't you move in? Could use someone like you. Got an empty place here you can use. Here's the key indeed. It ain't much to look at, but talk with Moira. She's got random odds and ends you might be able to spruce the place up with. Take care now. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Wadsworth, your personal robotic butler. I am here to look after your needs and to keep you happy and entertained. What can I do for you? Photons have mass? I didn't even know they were Catholic. <laughs> you have yourself a fine day, madam. So, how's the scabbing been? Got the food medicine from that super duper mart? Really? You did? You did! Well, all right! Tell me all about it. Oh dear. Well, I guess the dangers around those old supplies keeps it from being smooth sailing. Otherwise, they'd have already been looted, huh? Well, keep what you got. Just traded for a big food shipment myself. Here, take a bit. My treat. The taste kind of grates after a while. Oh, uh, and take, uh, take this. It's an old food sanitizer. Just carry it with you, and it should automatically make most food and drink more, um, better. Landmines are one of the few dangers out there that you can profit from. Disarm one before it blows, and you can sell it for plenty of caps. I've heard stories about a ghost town that's just full of mines. Traders just call the place Minefield. Sounds like the place for some field work. Get in there, get back, and tell me all about it. And could you bring back a mine for my studies? Oh, don't worry. No one ever goes there because they say it's a ghost town. And since ghosts don't exist, you can just focus on the landmines. I hear there's a playground in the middle of town. Reach that point and come back, and I'm sure you'll have some stories to tell. Remember, I'll buy whatever you're selling. I got nothing to say to you.
dead. Dead.
Need some grub? Try the brass lantern. Welcome home, madam. How are those hot little potatoes? Because, you know, they're on the ground. Like potatoes. And hot because they, um, explode. Anyway, what's up? My very own landmine! Oh, just what I've always wanted. Well, always since I sent you out on this anyway. Now, tell me all about it. What was it like going through there? What's it like disarming a landmine? Not quite as much of a ghost town as they say, is it? Good work staying calm and collected under pressure. It'll be a great example for the book. I know you may not want to see any more explosives for a while, but obviously you know your way around them. Have a couple rainy day toys of mine. And looking at this landmine, it gives me an idea. It's a terrible device that does terrible things, of course. But it's easy to make your own, too. It most certainly does. And if I keep writing in the style of some of your reports, this is going to be one mighty slick book. Here, for your services, I've saved up quite a few stim packs. Of course, you may need them. We've still got two more chapters to go. Well, okay. If you feel you really need one. Try not to die. <laughs> 